this, this conference with uh, past and future geometry festivals. Uh, and to do that, I'd like to uh, hand things over for a minute to Herman Glock, who was the person who has kept the geometry festival going for many, many years. Okay. Anybody have any trouble hearing me? Can you hear me? Okay. So, uh, yeah, to go back 30 years, so that's what is that, 1984. Um, so a number of us, that would be Gene Calabi, Wolf Engzeller, and me at Penn, and um, Blaine, Blaine Lawson, Marie Louise Michelson, Deborah Grimald of Stony Brook, um, Scott Walpert, um, and Carson Gold of Maryland, Pat Everline, and Robbie Gardner, in North Carolina. We talked for some time about starting something like a geometry festival. We had our eyes on the Topology Festival in Cornell, which started in 1963. So it had already been running for 20 years. Um, and on some other conferences. But it was mostly talk. We sat on our butt and did nothing. Uh, just thought about it. And then a strange coincidence happened, which propelled us. We noticed in 1984 that scheduled for February 1985 was a month-long visit at Penn by Marcel Berger, and then by Coincidence, in part of that month, uh, Josh Eschenberg was going to be there, and in part of that month, um, Fritz Hirschberg was going to be there. So we did a simple um, interception of three coincidences and found the week in February that all three were going to be there, and we thought this has to be a message from the gods. If ever we're going to start, we should start that. And it's exactly what we did. Um, we never had a conference before, so we were well intentioned amateurs. Um, <laughs> and we thought, well, we'll do it on a three-day format because we were familiar with that, I'd say, from the Cornell format. Um, and we thought about a banquet, but Gene Clark's wife, Juliana, and my wife, Dara, said, well, banquet, banquet, we'll do it. So they decided to run a banquet at Gene's house. Now, it's February. Um, they had no experience with this, but everybody's well intentioned. They got some things catered. I talked to Juliana a few weeks ago, and she says, what you remembers of that is nothing except Many, many pots of rice cooking on the stove and boiling over like something from a science fiction movie invading the house. Uh, and that's, that's her memory of it. The weather was gorgeous in February, so at the banquet, uh, we just took food outside. It was like April weather by a coincidence in February, so the gods were smiling on us. Um, and in addition, in addition to um, Marcel Berger and Joe Stetchenberg and uh, Fitz Um We had Pat Everline talking and Blaine Lawson and Leon Simon and Scott Walpert. Um, and, how could I have forgotten? Uh, ah, Dean Yang. Is Dean still here? Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, we were happy with it, and then we said, that we, we financed it by just um, stealing off um, this grant and that grant and the department helping, and then we wrote to the National Science Foundation and said, well, look, uh, then we invited some of the National Science Foundation to come and watch us either succeed or fail, and then we wrote and said, we think we succeeded, if you think so too, would you mind paying for it for the future? Um, and they said, fine, in three-year three -year intervals, and you know, all, it's been all day, all that time, Penn and Maryland and uh, Stony Brook and Duke and North Carolina are operating together. Um, Coran is now in on it. Northeastern was in for one shot and then uh, Trillium turned left. Um, and I won't tell you everything for 30 years, but one thing that sticks in my mind, especially since Lucille is here, is about 10 years ago, um, when it was at Stony Brook, um, they arranged to have the Royal House of Dabrin and uh, Lucille and Paul and Van Blaine and company arranged a lovely banquet dinner in the basement there, and Lucille brought in music and arranged all of us to dance. And she organized the dancing, we were watching, she, she was like energized by it, she never stopped. And so we all thought, well, no matter how gentle we are as mathematicians, of course we all have a competitive bread inside of us, and if she can do that, well, so can we. And in succession, she wore us out, and we all dropped, and she was still dancing. And I said, how do you do that? And she said, oh, 
Did I forget to mention that I'm an aerobics instructor? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that sticks in my mind. Um, those of you, the few of you in the audience who have experienced as a conference organizer know that when Claude gives credit to everybody else, there's tremendous credit to Claude and uh, Mark Anderson and Blaine and Marie Louise and uh, Xu Shang Chen and Denny Hill. They've all done a wonderful job. Um, they're smiling now. The biggest smile will be when we go home and they go back to sleep. So thanks to all of them. but we expect that next year's Geometry Festival will be a corrupt. The Corrupt is in Mathematical Science NYU, and um, typically the websites stay alive at the current school until we know where it's next, so you can always find that out by going to the website. Okay, Mike, it's your turn.